What's up guys, I'm Andy from 1A Auto. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the rear door latch assembly on this 2010 Toyota RAV4. If you need parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1AAuto.com. I'm gonna take a trim tool and I'm gonna, I wanna get underneath this bezel right here. Slide this up, slide this out of the way. You can disconnect the connector right here. Just push down. Disconnect the connector. Now you don't necessarily have to take this off to take the door panel off. It just makes it a lot easier to disconnect the connector like this rather than while you're fighting and fumbling with the door panel. Now we want to take this cover out. Just take a trim tool, get underneath here. And there's some clips that hold that on. Take this cover off right here. Sometimes you can just grab it with your fingers or you can get the trim tool underneath there. Try to rotate it off. There's clips on there, the bottom, in the middle, and on the top. Now there's three screws. There's one right here and two right there. I'm gonna use a Phillips head screwdriver. Take these screws out, just grab it, and then these two. And this last one. Take a magnet to get the bottom one out. And remember these two are different than that other one. Now you can use some trim tools and I always like to start from the front of the door panel, closest to the car, in case you scratch anything. And just go all around. There's just some push pins that hold the door panel on. Take it, slide up the door panel. This handle should slide off here. It should just be clipped in. There we go. Just slides down. We're gonna take this inside door handle off. We wanna take the cables off the handle. So <clears throat> disconnect this cable right here. The bottom one happens to be the green one, which is the lever side and the white one is the lock side. So slide it up and then slide the retaining ball out. And the same with the white one. Slide it up, twist it, and slide out the ball. Disconnect this connector right here. It goes to the door latch assembly. Now I'm gonna peel back the vapor barrier. Uh, you can take a razor blade or a utility knife and just <clears throat> cut some of this butyl tape Generally, it'll stick to itself afterwards when you go to put it back on. If you have to add more, you can always add more butyl tape. If you're doing this in hotter weather, it's gonna be a little bit easier to peel back. Just wanna pull those cables through and then that wiring harness so I can peel back on this a little bit more. going to disconnect this speaker wire just so I can take the vapor barrier off completely just so it's out of the way. Sometimes you can just fold it out of the way but if it's in your way sometimes it's just easier to pull it off completely. There we go. Let's set this side. I'm going to take these screws out right here. I'm going to use a T30 socket and a ratchet. Take those screws out. Now I'll just <clears throat> take this latch out, just slide it in, and you slide it down. I'm gonna just slide the cables this way. You wanna try to get the cables around this window channel. It seems like it would be easy to just take this channel out, but this window channel goes all the way up. So we don't wanna take that out if we don't have to. Slide the cables this way. And you can slide the latch out just like that. Just take a pocket screwdriver, slide in under right here. There's a little uh, retainer that holds that door down. And then grab the cable, 
slide it out of the slot there and slide it out of the release here. If you use the uh, <coughs> pocket screwdriver, that might help a little bit. And slide it up. That's the first cable to get the second cable out. So there's some releases for these latches right here on the back side. So if you take a straight blade screwdriver, you can release <coughs> the door. These bottom ones release pretty easy. This top one, not quite as easy. I'm sure they make a special tool to release these. I just went in from this side, release that first one, and then these bottom ones are a little bit easier. There we go. Push on those. That releases those. And take this cable, slide it up, and then slide this retaining ball out, just like that. Uh, I'm gonna take the cable with the blue end on it. Now, if you have different cables, they may have different colors. Slide the ball back in position there, the retaining ball, and then slide the cable slot right there. And we can close the door, lock it in place. Now we'll do the same with this. Take this retainer, that's gonna go right in this lever, just like that. And then slide that into the slot and close the door. So we want to slide this back in position. I am going to try to slide these cables back through first. Have the cables come this way. Just like that. And just twist this around. All right, and that worked. It wasn't the easiest, but uh, it'd probably be easier to slide the latch mechanism in first and then slide the cables through. So either way, got them in. Then we'll take these screws, get these screws started on the outside here. Take a T30 socket, snug these up. Then use a ratchet, tighten these down. Pretty snug. Keep in mind the child safety lock. If you wanted this to lock and not be able to open it from the outside, you're gonna to wanna to have that in the down position or up position uh, if you don't want that function. So keep that in mind. So when you put it back together, don't think that your door latch is broken if you uh, didn't put that in the right position. Another thing, when you're installing the latch, you have to have this lever lined up with the outside door handle. It's kind of hard to see, but you want to make sure that's lined up properly before you actually put the screws in. So now we want to take the vapor barrier, slide all the cables and all the wires in the correct positions. We took them out. Sometimes it's easiest to get it started and then take all the wires and add those. Just like that. It's all secured. Now reconnect the speaker wire, lock it in place, and reconnect the door latch. 
lock that in place. We want to reattach this to the cables. Slide the green cable into the bottom. That's the one with the handle. Just like that. And then through there. And the white one goes on top. Just like that. Now take the door panel, we'll slide the handle right through here. And there's two tabs right there on the top and the bottom. It's just going to slide into place right there. If you check it from the outside, just make sure it looks good. That's right. And then slide the top part of the panel in first. Pull the wiring harness through here so you can connect the switch after. And then once the panel's lined up, you can just push it on. Take a Phillips head screwdriver, and these two longer screws are going to go for the handle part. Get those started first. Snug those up. And then this smaller screw is going to go right here through the handle. And snug it up, not too tight. This cover is going to go over the handle. Lock that in place. And this cover is going to go right behind the handle. Pull out the handle. Line it up. Lock it in place. Reconnect the window switch to the connector. Line it up. Lock it in place. Then there's a slide right here that slides in the back. That slides like that, and then push down on the front. Thanks for watching. If you want the parts to do it yourself, check out 1AAuto.com, the place for DIY auto repair.